Now, brother, I'm giving you, we giving you a lot of information. A lot of information. Alright? Give me um Ezekiel 94. Give me Ezekiel 94. We're trying to warn you, brother. We trying to warn you. What we're trying to do is bring the 12 tribes of Israel back unto repentance. That's right. Alright, read that. Ezekiel 94. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Go through the midst of the city. Read. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Uh-huh. And set a mark. And do what? And set a mark. And set a mark. Read. Upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry uh -huh. for all the abominations that they be done, that be done in the midst thereof. So God is coming for those individuals that are sighing and crying because of the abominations on the earth. Guess what? Guess what's going to happen if you don't have that mark, brother? Give me Isaiah 13. Uh, give me... Uh, I, don't want to, I think I want to start at 14, Isaiah 13, 14, 15. But I want what's going to happen to these individuals that don't have that mark. That's doing everything the other nations and dealing with the other nations. Start at verse 12. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. Uh -huh. I will make a man. God says he's going to make a man. Read. More precious than fine gold. How precious is fine gold? You ever seen real fine gold before? Right? How often do you see it? Every day? No, nah, right? Guess what? God says he's going to make men like that. Because guess what? How often do you see us? Right. One day out of the week for a few hours, right? That's pretty precious when you think about it. So guess what? If you ain't on this side with the fine gold, keep reading. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. God says he's going to make us more precious than fine gold. Read. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Read. Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place. The Most High God said he's going to shake the heavens, and the earth shall move out of her place. Read. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts. what? In the wrath of the Lord of hosts. Read. And in the day of his fierce anger. In the day of his fierce anger. Read. And it shall be as the chaste robe. And it shall be as the chaste robe. Read. And as a sheep. That no man taketh up. Uh -huh. They shall every man turn to his own people. What shall happen? Every man turn to his own people. So on that day, brother, you're going to find out who you are. Because guess what? You're going to go to your real people. Whoever, if you're confused, you're going to find out on that day who you are. But if you if you are a Cherokee, this is what you must do. Go to Matthew 19 and 16. I'm going to show you what the scriptures tell you you got to do. Officer, can I bring yep. this real quick? Go ahead. Um, this is going along with what the officers bring it out. The reason why I was talking to you the way I was talking to you is because it's all about the nationality of the Father. Now, that's what the scripture says according to Numbers 1 and 18. There's something called the Dawes Rolls. The Dawes Rolls, okay? That was something that took place in 1902. That is when certain Native American tribes were allotted land based on blood, not only blood, but also intermarrying. That's why I asked you the nationality of your father. This is from OklahomaHistory.org. It says, titled, About the Dawes Rolls. Officially known as the final rolls of the citizens and freed men of the five civilized tribes in Indian Territory. The Dawes Rolls list individuals who applied and were approved for membership in the five civilized tribes. Cherokee, Chickasaw, Choctaw, Creek, and Seminole. Enrollment for the Dawes Rolls began in 1898 and ended in 1906. Here's a key point. Title, what kind of information will I find on the Dawes Rolls? The Rolls list the individual's name, age, sex, blood, degree, census card number and page, enrollment number and tribe. In most cases, the ages indicated on the rolls are the age of individuals around 1902. Those listed as newborns and minors were born after the initial enrollment began in 1898, but before March 1907. Tribal association will be listed as by blood, intermarriage, or freed men. So, that's why we were teaching you the way we were teaching you. According to uh, Amos 9 and 8, I believe, don't worry, at the end of the day, the Most High is going to sift the house of Israel, just like the officer saying. Matthew 19, verse 16. So this is for you, brother. This is for both of y'all. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Because according to the scriptures, guess what? If you are of, of, 
are of another nation, you cannot keep the commandments of God. It can't happen. Read that. And behold, one came and said unto him, mm -hmm. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So, this man came up to Christ. He said, What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, uh -huh. Why callest thou me good? Read. There is none good but one. There is what? None good but one. Uh -huh. That is God. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life, God says, If you want to enter into life, read. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. So, in order to receive salvation, you must keep the commandments of God. That's right. Let's read one of these commandments. Let's go to Leviticus 21 and 5. Gotcha. All right. Brother, you listen? All right. This is, what, this is what Christ says you must do. Read that. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So, the scripture says that you can't shave off your beard. So, if you, you grow in your beard, that's good. It looks like you ain't cutting into it. Your beard. You can't cut your beard off. All right? According to the scriptures. If, if the spirit is bearing witness with you, and these scriptures are for you, you can't cut your beard off according to the scriptures. Because a lot of people think this thing is about color, right? I mean, you've already seen, you, you've seen this, like, a lot of people think it's all about color. Give me Jeremiah 12 and 9. I'm going to show you something. God says that the children of Israel were going to be scattered throughout the 12 corners of the earth. The four corners of the earth. These 12 tribes are just where the bulk of each tribe is at. But there's always uh, an allotment of Israelites all over the world. Like the officer took a trip to uh, Ghana. Some of our Israelites are there. You might not see them on there, but we know that those are Israelites as well. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 12 verse 9. Uh -huh. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. What does a speckled bird look like? You got dots on it. The dots. It looks like it has every color on it. You can show some bird. Yellow, brown, black, white, everything. Read. The birds round about are against her. Uh -huh. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. Right. Because even though we're like a speckled bird, guess what? The so-called Cuban man might look like a white man, but guess what? He's still being oppressed in that land. Right. Regardless of what shade a uh, uh, Tony is. That's why in 2000, they just now lifted the, the, the no trade with Cuba after all these years. Why? Because those are the children of Israel. When you look at the so-called Puerto Ricans, all right? To this day, they still cannot vote. They have no citizenship. It's called a commonwealth. In 2017, colonialization is still going on. Even though they don't look like the so-called black man, they get the same treatment. Give me Jeremiah 50 and 32. Jeremiah 50 and 32. So it's not by chance that all these different individuals are going through the same thing. Remember I told you there was two kingdoms, right? Two kingdoms in the nation of Israel. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 33. Uh -huh. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. The children of Israel and the children of Judah. Both kingdoms. Read. Were oppressed together. Were what? Were oppressed together. Uh -huh. And all that took them captives held them fast. Right. We were oppressed together. What were we oppressed together? Here in America. The so-called Native Americans had their land taken from them. They broke over 400 treaties. The so-called black man went through slavery. He went through, uh, uh, what's the name of the uh, time period? The uh, Jim Crow law. He went through the black code. He went through the civil rights movement. He going through the Black Lives Matter situation now. All this different stuff. The, uh, the so-called natives are fighting in, um, in North Dakota over the pipeline. All these things are happening here together. Showing you what? That we are the children of Israel. That's right. All right, you understand that? You understand that, brother? What you got to do re to receive salvation? What did you read you have to do to receive salvation? Well, what, well, I just read it. What did Christ say we had to do? Last time, this last time. We had to keep the commandments. Yeah. You got to keep the commandments, all right? It's that simple. Keep the commandments in the face of Christ. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC 
will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.